Hey guys, it's Ben. Uh, welcome back to Hex and DD. In the last part, we just cleared out this entire hub pretty much. Oh gosh, I didn't, I didn't recognize you there. Sorry about that. It's kind of annoying how they keep spawning in, you know? Anyway, if we go through here, we end up in this place. I remember this place. This place is pretty annoying. In fact, this is this is a hard. There's a, there's a guy up there. In fact, there's guys all around. Hey, we've got a bit of ammo here. I may as well, a bit of mana here. I may as well just keep firing at them. Try and clear them out of these areas because there's 93 of them. So that's pretty large number. And this this is a very open map. Also, did you hear that? You may be wondering, is that a new enemy? No. And considering you don't hear that sound, also you see that guy flying around. Yeah, that's right. It's the it's one of the bosses from the main game. You know what the worst part about that is? If we walk into, if we walk outside, you will know straight up. You'll know straight up what's going on. Did you hear that again? He only makes that sound once when you first activate him. So either either he just despawned and respawned, or and this is what actually is going on. There's several of them. I think there's four of them in this entire map. So you're thinking, what are they trying to do? Also, you may be wondering, what what do you do here? You've got to do the puzzle. You can't jump across, and also don't try jumping down because you're not going to be able to make it. Well, I mean that is extremely brutal. Also, there's oh, oh gosh, hello there. Did you hear that again? There's another one. Yep, that's definitely them because they have the persistent fire. I'm trying to hit him as this guy. I'm trying to hit him as this class. It's pretty tough, especially because we had the fire hands last time, and now we don't. By the way, you see the circle here? I don't know what's about it, to be honest. Not right now, I don't remember. But the good thing about this is that you can run around, pick up a lot of ammo, in an attempt to take him down, because unfortunately they give you... Kind of reverse... Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Huh. All that build up and what happens, I get shot. I even took out all the enemies first. I should probably have saved, yeah. I mean, think about it. Only the mage really has the upper hand here because he has the no. He he has the frost hands. The frost hands have a bit of a delay. The frost hand, yeah, the frosty hands have a delay when you shoot it. In fact, the ma all of the mage's weapons had a delay, didn't they? Ex except his regular weapon. See, the cleric, his fire hands, uh, don't have a delay, or they don't have a, a great delay. The mages, uh, thing I... And I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about, like, there's a delay between when you shoot and when it actually happens. Like, I mean, like, there's a delay between when you fire and when it will hit your target, like, just weapon speed, I guess. What does that even do? I think that activates that. Oh, now it's a star now. What does that mean? I think you've got a... Oh yeah, there's like a puzzle on each of the four sides of this place. And you have to do the puzzles in the right order. And it like depends on what the map says. Oh, it's just weird. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. So... Okay, so I guess we gotta go for the star one first, right? You may be thinking, why don't you just do the map while not caring about this guy, but... You will want to care about him, because dude, he's like firing fire! Although they're giving you discs of repulsion a lot. That didn't really help, didn't it? I just, I just got one. Yes! Yes! I don't know if the flesh head did it. I just accidentally spammed that a couple times instead of the ring. Repulsion. Um, 
Wow, I didn't I didn't expect that to work so quickly. Okay, save on. Uh, grab some more flush hits. Um. Mage, 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 mage. Whoa. Jeez. Jeez, hyperspeed mage. Also, you can grab another one of these guys. The Dark Servant. Which is pretty good. Um. It's, it's pretty tricky, yeah. And there's another one, so I'm gonna use this guy. I'm gonna use him. Die! He is not doing a good job at all. Look at him go, he's just missing aimlessly. Wow, look at him go, he's not, he's not gonna get him. Oh, we got him. You got him once then. Also, I keep running into a lot of other enemies. Also, yeah, always have your potions on standby here because you're gonna need them. Wow, that guy totally had a good, was a good effort. Oh, you can deflect the shots. Okay, that makes sense. It's just that, like the, the speed of the shots. It's so slow. Now I'm shooting a guy on the ground. Okay. Can you, like, deflect the shots back at him or something? Also, how did I take out the first guy so quickly? Explain this phenomenon. Ah, yeah, I got him. Whew! Okay, that's two down. Ow, I shot the mushroom. I ate the mushroom. I'll suck a bit of your health. Grab a lot of mana, because there's a lot of mana here apparently. Also, there's a guy there. In the lake. There's two guys in the lake. Huh. Must be buddies. Also, there's gonna be guys in all of these lakes. Also, they keep respawning apparently. Notice how we got 107 enemies when I said there was like 92 at the beginning. Also, there's a lot of those guys, I'll tell you that. A lot of those lake guys that I don't like. Okay, come on, there's another two here. There's another one right there. And again, I guess this river goes quite a fair bit, but... <laughs> now you can tell why it's a pretty annoying... ...thing. Whew. You know what's the worst part? You have to kill them. You can't... I don't think you can actually do stuff without them, because... Ah! I just ran into that again. Oh, I didn't even save after the second guy. Ah, oh, crap. Didn't even save after the second. You know what it was bad? I was gonna save just right then. And then I just walked in completely dead. I was like, <gasps> Purple Potion. Wait, where's all my. I didn't even do all the stuff here. I didn't go up there and grab the stuff. I think I just saved here, yeah. Yeah, I just saved here. I didn't actually. Go up here again. I was just going, oh no, I don't have that guy. He definitely did me well. In fact, you know what? I'll just buy I'll just skip by him. Um Did I say last part that I was recording this December 10? I just wanted to say that uh this I'm not gonna I'm not really gonna be doing stuff like hexing and stuff pretty much all the time. That was just a thing that I did with my channel just because there were games that I liked. I do like these games, but I wouldn't want to do them like all the time, especially because um, I don't know really exactly why. I think it's just because I want a bit of variety, and unfortunately with uh, Star, with um, Half Life and Doom and sorry, Half Life and Doom Three and this, I'm thinking yeah, I don't I don't want to I don't want to do um, kind of gun gun down games all the time. In fact. A lot of the time, really. I think I was just doing it for now, just because there were games I owned on the PC and games I could record and stuff. I was having a bit of a, f a bit of a thing where I just completely ran out of Game Boy games to play. Couldn't. Oh gosh. <laughs> Water. Do you look at that? That's what I mean. It's like, yeah, I'm trying to hit him. Getting one hit is pretty satisfying. Getting. Getting like 20, which is, which I think is that, that's how much he takes. I think I hit him like a couple of times. Also, he like jumps when you hit him, it's so odd. 
Ow. Don't. Do the map. Oh, crap. I was using those for a bit. I don't care that's got guys in there. I just want to grab some potions. Back up. Die. Wow, that was actually doing pretty good. Oh, wow, that was that was actually pretty good. Um. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So yeah, I'm sorry for playing. Like, like if you if you're one of those guys who wanted me to play like uh, Warrior Land and stuff, stuff that I've been playing on Wii and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's just because I got a new. Yeah, I, I've said this story quite a few times, but I'll say it once more. On my old computer, I had ports in the front of my computer for RCA cables, which was kind of weird. The audio didn't work, but I managed to find a um a uh. Was it a um a red white to headphone cable, which was actually pretty good. So basically, I just plugged that into my computer. Now I didn't have a TV near me uh, near my computer. Uh, in fact, I still don't. But I'm getting a laptop for it. In fact, I've ordered it. It's gonna be all good. I'll even be playing. I won't really be playing games dedicated on it, just because I save. Just so it doesn't happen. So yeah, there's death wyverns. Um. Uh, but uh. Yeah, I. So, but I did have these uh wireless. Um, signal transmitters where you could plug in your RCA and they would come out on the other end. They were kind of finicky. Like the quality wasn't that good even on the uh even when they were right next to each other, which is what I did. I basically did that so I could uh get the red white uh to headphone jack because I couldn't really because they were intended for like out TV output and I guess I needed the output at some stage so I could change the cables, you know. I was I I could have looked around for female cables but stuff like that. Um uh I didn't kill the death wyvern, did I? Um stuff like that. Um <laughs> So anyway yeah, but and also the front of my Gosh, hello there. Friends me in your ear. Uh, also, the cables on the on the sorry, the ports on the front of my computer only supports 240p. Not very good. For the for the, for 2010, that was okay. People were starting to move to HD, uh, and I was just kind of casually still playing 240p, but rendering in 360 just so YouTube doesn't cut it. Because believe me, you can have some really good looking 240p content, like for example, Doom. Doom originally ran in like 200p or something. I guess I did kill them. I don't know exactly, but I'm just saving on top just in case. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a weird sound. Oh yeah, boo. Um. Up oh, there he is. Uh, but yeah, the problem with doing that is just um. One, it's a bit of a hassle because I have to drag the system from my other room all into... Oh, you have to activate all four of those guys. Like, you gotta, like, get them all going in order to activate these platforms, I believe. And you need to, like... Like, swap the symbol on it to match whatever it's said there or something. Otherwise, you get more enemies. To be honest, it's just like a... Dude, he got, like, stuck on the tree there for a second. Um, yeah, the puzzle on this is kind of weird. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So what have I do? What have I done to fix this? Well, first of all, I got, I got a capture card. That didn't entire. That was a bit buggy. So I was like, okay, I'll get another one. This one was by like Roxio. I was like, yeah, I've got uh, these guys. Definitely are gonna have some pretty good products because you know they make the sound cards for computers and stuff. So obviously, obviously, another product they make has to be has to work at least. The other one didn't. Uh, didn't really work. Uh, this one worked on component cables, so I'll probably get, like, good quality from other things. I've also got a HDMI input, which I'd probably be recording in otherwise. I don't know. I'll try and figure things out once I get a Wii U and something that actually has HDMI. Because I don't really need HDMI if nothing uses it. Uh, but yeah, so the Roxia one used component cables rather than just the standard RCA. So, 
That one would only work with the thing over. I'll, tr I'll try like both with my new laptop. Uh, now, why didn't I record anything even though I had capture cards? A shoddy laptop. Now, this laptop I had used, I actually used it last weekend. I tried playing video games on it. Not even recording, just tried playing video games. It's a dual core 2 gigahertz. So you're thinking, okay, also, by the way, since I have the keys so open these doors, I may as well go into them. Um, it's a, uh, yeah, so 2 gigahertz dual core, so you're thinking, yeah, that would be pretty decent. You could, record, you could probably record 480p video, that would be fine. I mean, I had a uh, 3 gigahertz. Um, I had a 3 gigahertz, I'm going to use that just because I'm going to want the ammo. I had a 3 gigahertz single core processor. Uh, and that would actually, that actually worked with Fraps kind of decently on my old computer, to be honest. I mean, I did, did I record? Oh, yeah. This place has weird jumps, I'll tell you that. Um, it recorded games pretty decently. Um, I recorded a good Team Fortress at like 20 frames while playing it, and I was like, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Um, you may be wondering where the heck we're going. You go up this way, I believe. There should be a port. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Obviously, duh. Also, by the way, did you just note that? It is impossible to stand on top of that. Also, it looks kind of shod. It's impossible to stand on top of that. They won't let you stand on top of it in this engine. Um, you've actually got uh, to, like, do it. No, you gotta go around the right, the right most side. Um, jeez, what was I thinking? Um, I'll, I'll clear off this map before we actually just, uh, surprise that work apparently. Uh, you can jump into that portal, but I'm gonna be clearing off the rest of this map. Also, don't worry about falling here, because there's just more ground underneath. Um, so anyway, yeah, so, yeah, but on the weekend I decided to play just a game on this laptop. I decided to launch up Sega Genesis Mega Drive Classics on Steam. Sponsored. Um, I decided to play that, and I was like, yeah, uh, I'll play Sonic the Hedgehog. 20 frames a second. It even lag spiked at times, and it would freeze up for like whole five minutes at a time. Playing freaking Sonic the Hedgehog. On a, on a laptop that, I swear, this thing was made in 2009. Like, that is really poor class. It's a compact, by the way, so... You don't hear of compact anymore, do you? Nah. <laughs> um... I thought there was another exit. Someplace had an exit. Another, yeah, I was thinking there was another guy in there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I thought that was um, yeah, try playing Doom on that laptop, DOS boxed, lagged, couldn't run it, uh, so yeah, you can make these things keep going up and stuff, I'm gonna switch to star, huh, oh gosh, I got health, if you guess wrong, enemies pop up, but you get all the health anyway, if you guess it right, so just don't guess it wrong, now the question is, what is the rest of this puzzle? Do I have to go... I'm gonna go inside, just because I think they're gonna... explain the puzzle. There's a moon now. So I'm thinking, okay, so... the next one I do... should be a moon, right? Huh. It's very nice of you, game. To be actually giving me stuff. Despite the fact that that guy... No, that guy didn't spawn it, he was just standing there the entire time. Uh, now it's a circle, so it's like, okay, so the next one I go to will be a circle, so it's this one up here. No, I just did that one. It's, uh, this one up here. Nope, it's the next one across. Okay, so they're going counterclockwise now. Or anti-clockwise if you should be Australian. I, to be honest, I just, I just hear Americans say counterclockwise so much that I say counterclockwise. Um... I should be saying anti-clockwise, but I don't, so yeah. So anyway, yeah, so the laptop, 
it could never record VR. I actually did record the Barbie Super Sports on it, but there was a bit of visual tearing. Uh, the Barbie Super Sports didn't require that much effort. I'm gonna assume it's. it's oh, no. Okay, so that's what's bad choice. Bad choice. We're gonna spawn four really easy enemies on you. Just don't keep tapping it. I guess you could say grinding, but. And there you go. Now, when you do all of that, I believe the center does something. So if we go to the center, um, it's 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 a bit of an intriguing puzzle, actually, to be honest. Um, I say actually, to be honest. Now, if we go here, and push that thing. It is done. Um. Also, yeah, there's a bunch of enemies just spawned right there. I thought you should know that. Um, but yeah, the laptop couldn't do anything. During the Barbie, Barbie Super Sports kind of side LP, uh, it had problems where it would just start getting out of sync and work generally, but you can actually hear it speed up the audio at times just because it, the frames get out of sync, and that was. Virtual Dub's way of doing it. I was recording using Virtual Dub, which is kind of a odd choice. So why are these guys spawning out of all guys? I would like to get up there, but how? Oh. Hello, Mr. Wizard Man. How do you do? Okay, well, I guess... Oh, hello there. Oh, these platforms are raised. Okay. Now, as long as I don't fall. Also, these platforms. I'm not a big trust man on these platforms. Um, so, yeah, the laptop couldn't do it. Doesn't record well. Barely can run. Let alone record. I had trouble just playing games on it. Get one of the planets. Get one of the Captain Planets, and I guess we can get out of here. That's about it. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to the center now. I guess we could call this place done. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we can. Yeah. And then we're back in the center where. Put that back on. Uh, now, unfortunately, there are four more left, and I'm not entirely sure where they are, but I'm guessing they'll be in the other three areas. We may never know. I didn't. I didn't exactly look up the name of that place, but I don't know. You guys can look it up. Okay, I'll see you guys next time on Hex and DD.